Good afternoon, Ray Khan here with TechOut. Today we're going to be unboxing the 853D from eBay. Um, this is a 3-in-1 soldering and hot air station. Um, I ordered this because I am trying to get into doing some iPhone repair. Um, I've been doing some battery replacements and screen replacements and stuff like that. But I wanted to get into a little bit of soldering and micro soldering. Um, and a good micro soldering station um, is going to run you between $500 and $1,000 depending on if it's a hot air soldering combo. Just hot air, just soldering. Um, a good station for soldering is going to be about 100 bucks. Good station for hot air is going to be about 500. This is a combo I paid 80 dollars for on eBay. This is just a cheap Chinese unit. I know I'm not expecting anything great here, um, but I just wanted something cheap to try it out um, before I paid 500 to 1,000 um, dollars for something that you know I may not may not use, may not get into something like that. So this is just more the set that I'm going to try everything with. Um, and if if I get into doing a lot of repairs and stuff like that, then you know, of course, I will invest in a good set. Um, but this has some pretty good some pretty good reviews on eBay, so I'm not too worried about the quality of it. I know a a, um, a more high end soldering station is going to be better at maintaining temperature and stuff like that and temperature accuracy. Um, but for SMD soldering on the iPhone, you're really looking for hot air. Um, and you're really only using the soldering iron to clean the pads and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to get into all that right now because I haven't micro soldered before so I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Um, but I have seen a lot of videos and stuff and been reading up on it. Um, this is just the, you know, little Chinese manual. Nothing special. So, we're going to put that aside. One reason I went with this unit um, is because it does come with a lot of accessories. So we have a bunch of different hot air tips right here. Um, so we've got a big tip, we got little thin ones so you can keep the air directed in one spot, which is good for um, smaller things like the iPhone. It came with a ton of soldering tips for the soldering aisle. Soldering iron, we have a bunch of thin tips which are good for micro soldering um, in small places. We have some bigger tips. Um, there's a chisel tip right there which is good for cleaning with solder wick and stuff like that. One reason I went with this, it does come with some solder wick right here, just some, some cheap stuff. Probably not going to use that, I'm going to buy some quality solder and solder wick. Um, one reason I did order this unit was because of this. It does have a DC power supply as well as a DC um, amp meter. So you can use this to check um, amperage on devices. I'm pretty sure it's amperage. Um, and then you can also plug in leads. They make these um, leads that have different iPhone adapters on them that plug into where the battery plugs in on the motherboard. They make those for um, a bunch of different types of iPhones. And you can actually use the DC power supply on this to power the iPhone without the battery installed. Um, this right here is just a little chip remover. Again, just something cheap that I probably won't use. But it does come with it if you do want it. Right here we have your soldering uh, iron holder with the sponge right here. The sponge, I've, I've had a unit like this before. Um, I actually have one that was hot air and soldering. Um, I just lost the soldering iron for it, so that's why I had to get another one. Um, and I figured I would get something a little more beefy. This is the soldering iron right here. It does come with a little protector on the end. Apparently the whole thing's going to come off. Let's see. There we go. So it does come with a tip pre-installed, just a regular thin soldering tip. I'm going to leave the cap on for right now so I don't stab myself with that. Again, nothing fancy. It's got a little rubber grip right here um, and a cord. It doesn't feel too cheap, but again, it's not something you're, that you're getting with a, a Heiko or Hako, however you say that uh, brand, you know, $100 unit. Down in there is the um, hot air gun power cord right here. Um, the hot air gun is pre-attached um, and permanently attached. The soldering iron can be unplugged. I don't know if you can get other irons for these. I haven't looked to see what else they sell for them. I know some soldering stations you can get like uh, hot tweezers and stuff like that. Don't know if they have anything like that for this or if it's just un um, if you can just unplug it to replace the iron if you need to. One thing I didn't see with this one that I've seen with other ones is it didn't come with any extra heaters for the hot air gun or the soldering iron. 
Um, so there's your hot air gun, just a standard. I've seen this hot air gun style used in plenty of units. This is actually the same style that my other one uses. My other style, I'm pretty sure, is made by the same Chinese company. These are all just Chinese units that are rebranded everywhere um, and sold on eBay. So on the front here, um, we have your probes where you plug them in. Um, so the these two right here are for testing voltage. Um, you flip it over to test voltage and you can read the voltage on the amp meter right here. It is amps and then you can do voltage. Um, we'll plug it in in a second and power it up. Um, so you would plug these leads in. If I can get them opened. Let's see. I don't think they are attached yet. So you can either plug in a DC power supply or you can plug these in. to measure, um, measure amps. Maybe. Might have had it right the first time. Let me check the, uh, check the instructions real quick on how to do all this and then I'll get back to you. Alright, so I did get these plugged in. You just have to take off the, uh, the plastic caps here and kind of wiggle them in. Um, so I do have it on test voltage right now. I'm just going to demonstrate this with the AA battery. Um, so AA battery is 1.5 volts. Um, and just to show you how accurate this is, I'm going to put the, the two leads on the battery here. As you can see, 1.5 volts. So it's right on the money. The battery actually says 1.5 volts right on it. Um, so to use the power test, um, the voltage test, it does give you the amperage and the voltage. Um, so you just have to turn that on. So the DC power does have to be on and the switch has to be in test voltage. If you do output display, then you can adjust this all the way up to 15.4 um, volts. So you can kind of dial it in. The switch is kind of sensitive, um, but this will not do anything when you're on just your regular test voltage. So 5 volts is what we would use for something like a smartphone, so I'm just going to leave it set right there. Um, but test voltage right there is how you do that. Right here you have your hot air. If you flip that one on, um, you can set your temperature for your hot air. Um, this has a little sensor in it, so when you pick it up, it turns on. And when you put it down, it will cool off and then the fan will shut back down. So the fan uh, runs to cool it off just to save the heater. And then your solder nine, I don't have the solder nine attached, so we're just gonna get an error. Um, let me plug it in real quick. So far, uh, it seems like a pretty good, pretty good little unit. Not, no complaints, uh, really. Right here, we also have your air, your air speed. Um, so that was all the way up. That is one right there. You can't really hear it, but it is on. Um, it does show you the temperature, the current temperature. As you can see, it's going back down. Let me take the rubber off the soldering iron before I turn it on. Um, wait for that to turn off. I do have it plugged into a power strip. Definitely not recommended, so I'm not going to run everything on here at one time. Um, it's not a surge protector, though. It's just a power strip. It's capable of like 1,900 watts. It's what it's rated for, so it should be okay. Um, soldering to... Uh, Pencil on, you can see temperature climbing. I'm gonna turn that back off. It is warm. Um, so I'm not gonna let that heat up right now because I don't have where to put it. Um, there is a main power switch on the back of the unit, so you can turn that off, um, which they do recommend. Um, so these will flash when, when they're off or when one of them's off. You have your voltage right here. Haven't been able to have anything pulling off amps to actually move that gauge yet, so that's that. Oops, didn't want to turn that down. Put that back on 5 volts. But that is that. It's pretty nice. Um, no complaints about it. I did put the little holder on the side here. I think there's a spot for it on... Okay, no, there's not. There's only one spot. There's one spot for it over here. You just have to screw that on yourself. I know it's hard to see, but the little mount for the air gun. Um, and then I will put this together and put the soldering gun in. It looks like you got a spot here on the top for all your soldering uh, tips and stuff like that as well, which is really nice. This has been Conlon with Tech Out. This is the 853D. 
um, three in one soldering and hot air station purchased on eBay. I will leave a link to this in the description to where I bought it. And I think I, have, I found this on Amazon as well. I'll link it to there if you prefer to buy on Amazon. This has been Colin with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And have a great day.